Hi guys and welcome back to Getting Crafty with Miss Hughes. I hope you guys are doing well. As you can see, this will be our project for today. It's an inspiration by an artist named James Rizzi. James Rizzi is an American pop artist best known for his vibrant, youthful graphics and his three-dimensional prints. As you can see, that's James Rizzi and his beautiful art pieces. They're crazy, kooky, and fun. I love his cityscapes, so that's what we're going to be working on today. If, as you can see, the cityscapes are their different shapes and sizes. They have different faces and different shapes all over. The ones I love in particular are these ones with the night and day. So that's what we're going to do today. Alright guys, I hope you're ready. Grab some paper, pencil, and a black sharpie and let's get started. Okay guys, I went ahead and already pre-drawn in pencil some of my buildings and faces from, from our artist James Rizzo, his inspiration. So I'm going to go ahead and start off, go in with my sharpie. So with your buildings, your buildings do not have to be rectangular. If you look at the examples I showed you from James Rizzo, oh sorry, James Rizzi, I apologize. His um, buildings are all kinds of shapes. Um, I have shapes that may be triangular at the top, maybe some zigzags going right here. Um, it can be a diagonal line, however you want your buildings to look. You can be creative with this, okay? So I'm gonna go in with my Sharpie to go over some of my buildings. Cause you're gonna go in with a Sharpie and do yours too. If you wanna go ahead and start off by using your Sharpie and not a pencil, you can go ahead and do that as well. If not, if you don't feel comfortable, you guys can start off with a pencil and then go ahead and go in with a sharpie after you're done and you're happy with your finished product so I'm just going in and adding some details to my buildings I want to do his eyes now I'm giving you examples of these these facials and um, eyes and nose and mouth so all those will be attached in the files in your file folder so you can see some of these examples I did you don't have to do regular shaped eyes I did rectangular eyes and then I went in with another rectangle and a smaller rectangle to make the pupils okay then I'm going and make his nose his nose is nothing but like an upside down question mark if you really look at it, it looks like an upside down question mark so I'm gonna make a little curve and then another little curve right there his mouth will also be rectangular so I'm going to go in and make it rectangular. Maybe I'm going to add some teeth. See? Make teeth. If he wanted you, maybe you want him to miss a tooth. Maybe he's missing a tooth. So you can go ahead and color that in. And now he's missing a tooth. Okay? But guys, yes, be creative with your buildings. I'm going to go in. I'm doing a, a stair shape this time. If you look like, it looks like stairs going down. And then look at his eye. His eyes are, I'm, I decided to make his eyes triangular. You can use triangles for his eyes. Okay. And then you're just going to do a diagonal line on both eyes at the top. Then you're going to make another diagonal line in the corner right there. And then you're going to fill those in for his pupils. Okay. Not too bad. All this, all the shapes on here are triangular. Okay. And you can, if you want to, you can fill those in black, or if you like to, at the end, you can fill them in with another color. Okay. His nose is also triangular. And then I'm gonna go in and do a mouth. Most of our facial expressions are very cartoonish, so we're gonna do cartoonish things. Like we're gonna make a mouth. It's just gonna make a regular little mouth. You're gonna start off and you're gonna make a little happy face. Like that. And then you're just gonna go down underneath them and make like a letter U. 
right there, okay? You're gonna leave some space right in between those. If you wanna give him a tongue, you can just do two bouncy lines, one, two, okay? If you wanted to give him some teeth, you can also do that. Just draw a little line right underneath, okay? Awesome. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna keep going until I finish up my face. And so even with this building right here, we have a diagonal line. So at the top of your buildings, you do not have to have a, a rectangular building. Have fun with your buildings, be creative. You can add in some patterns. I'm doing zigzag patterns. So he has zigzag eyebrows. So we're gonna continue with that zigzag pattern, okay? Here's another zigzag. I guess I want you guys to think about how you want your facial expressions to look on your buildings, okay? Then I'm gonna add a little smirk right here. Add some teeth. There we go. Almost look like a mustache, really. Okay, so, yeah, I'm starting to like it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna go in this building. I'm not gonna put a face on here, but I'm gonna add some windows. Add a few windows onto this one. Then I'm gonna add a little door here at the bottom. I think I'm gonna do a double door. Okay, right there. Cool. Might even wanna add some other details onto that. Maybe some stripes at the top. Yeah, what you guys think? I like it. So I'm gonna move on to my other building. This one right here, that star right here, it's gonna go straight down. And then I'm gonna do a zigzag at the top of my building. Okay. And I'm gonna keep going straight down. Then I'm going to go in and add some windows. This is a window. Well, we can make that a window. Let's say that's a window. Then I'm gonna start making windows down here. Your windows do not have to be square. They can be diamonds. J James Rizzi used a lot of diamond shapes in his artwork for his windows and on his buildings. You can be as creative as you want to, okay? And let's do a door down here. Let's do a triangle top. Yeah, let's do a little door now. Okay. Maybe I'll put a little one here. It look like it's poking out. All right, so I'm almost done with some of my buildings. I might go in and add a few more details to some of the ones that I see. And then I'm gonna add her eyes. And then you make your eyes, you just wanna make nice big pupils if you're making eyes on them. Let's go in with a mouth. How about it? And then down here, I'll uh, do a heart shaped door. Let's do that. Alright, and I'm going to just continue, you can just 
continue doing yours as well. Okay? You can go in and add more details to your buildings. You can add windows, more windows if you want. Even with the ones that already have faces on it, you can go in and add windows but on at the bottom. The door. Just continue working on your buildings. Okay guys, so now that we are done with our building, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna work on the sky. All right, so we're gonna have a day side and a night side. So the first thing we're gonna do is draw a line down the middle of your paper onto right above the building, okay? It should not go all the way down your paper. Just draw from the top to the, the top of your first building, okay? This side will be day and this side will be night. Or if you want this side to be day and this side be night, it's up to you. It doesn't matter. It's your artwork. So, I think I'm going to do some sun, some clouds. Those are representations of the daytime. What else do you see in the daytime? Maybe some birds flying in the air. You may see some airplanes, clouds. Think about what you see during the daytime that flies or that's in the air. So I'm gonna do some clouds. Clouds. And all I'm doing with my clouds is using my bouncy lines, guys. Bouncy lines to create clouds, okay? Use your bouncy lines. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy lines, okay? Okay, I see a sun. Most days you see sun in the sky during the day. And with um, James Rizzi, he did his sun with zigzags and lines in a nice happy face, which I just recreated. So you can do something like that as well if you like. You want to give your son a face? 
give him a nice little happy face just like that okay on the other side i'm gonna do a moon what else do we see at night we dark it's usually dark right darkness maybe what elements do we see we see this the moon and the stars so i'm gonna draw me a moon if you want to do a full moon you can do a full moon i'm gonna do a crescent moon or that's the one i want to do and i'm gonna give my crescent moon a nice little face there yeah and then i'm gonna give him some shine the moon shines at night. Let's make him bright. Shine like a diamond. Okay. Also, let's do some stars. Maybe do some stars. And your stars don't have to be perfect because my stars are definitely not perfect. So just put some stars on there if you like. And you don't have to do stars like this you can just do some maybe some little circles because most stars when we see them look like little dots right so you can do a few dots or you can just if you want to do stars you can do stars yep I'm gonna do some throw some stars in there You can put as many stars as you like. Okay. How does that look, guys? I think it's coming along pretty cute. All right, so what other things can we add in our background? Maybe a bird. Maybe we can do a bird or a plane. Or even maybe like a little alien spaceship. Yeah, let's do an alien spaceship. And I'm going to show you guys. These guys, are you going to see all these little um, figures attached inside of um on your assignment so you can see how to draw it so all i did was did a nice arch a curved line under two diagonal lines on the side another curved line right and then we're gonna make a little a little line underneath like a little l shape okay and we're gonna give our little spaceship some dots give it some character are we gonna put a little alien inside? <laughs> well, duh. Yes. Let's put our little alien inside. And he's waving. Yep. Nice little spaceship right there. Awesome. Maybe we'll have a nice little plane. Don't planes uh, go through the sky and I'm drawing kind of like James Rizzo he had more of a like a kooky type of drawing with his artwork I'm gonna draw the plane give it some windows So my plane is flying through the sky. So guys, I really want you to be as, as creative as you like with your drawings, okay? I'm going to put a few um, examples of James Rizzi's artwork inside of the folder as well. As you will see through this video, you saw all his um, examples in the video. So the next step is just coloring. Okay, so you can use whatever you want. You can use crayons. Maybe you want to use color pencils. You can do that. If you want to use markers, you can use your markers. Markers. 
If you want to paint, feel free to use your watercolor paints. It's all up to you. I'm letting you be as creative as you like with this. If you want to use two or so, two different different type of materials, crayons, markers, both of those, you can. Um, so it's just going to go in and start coloring your artwork. If you want to paint your artwork, please feel free to paint. It's totally up to you. I think I'm going to use crayons, guys. I think I'm going to use crayons and markers. I think I'm going to use crayons and markers, okay? So, let's see. I think I'm going to outline. Outline and marker. when you do this you want to make sure you are coloring in one direction if you see me right here I'm coloring side to side let me actually zoom in so I can show you guys oops trying to get that for you sorry So I don't want to see you guys going this way and then going this way. Go one direction for your whole project, okay? One direction. Use one direction. I'm going side to side. Matter of fact, everyone, make sure you color side to side. Let's just start coloring from side to side. Say one direction, okay? If you want to make your windows a different color, you can. Let's see. I might go in with yellow. And I'm going to use this marker. I'm going to yellowish orange. Let's make his tongue pink. back on your markers if you're using markers guys I'm gonna go in and color the back of his mouth black so guys just keep going color in all of your drawings okay just go for it go for it and I'm gonna speed up the video so you won't have to see me just sitting here coloring I'm gonna speed up the video for you Thank you. 
Okay guys, now we're coming towards the end of the project. Just coloring in the skies. Did a night sky and a day sky. So, be creative as you want to be. You can overlap colors. I did like a blue and a purple for my night sky. So, keep coloring. Keep it. Be as creative as you want to be. I cannot wait to see what you create. Miss Hughes, out. Thank mm -hmm. you.